the COVID pandemic. Let us approach the Lord who makes all things new for all the blessings and graces we received during the COVID pandemic. After every petition, let us say together, Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. For reminding us of the fragility of life, shielding us when no one else dared to shelter us, and opening our minds to what is really essential, let us thank the Lord. Thanks be to God. For allowing us to connect with one another with faith and love, despite the isolation that sickness had imposed on us, let us thank the Lord. Thanks be to God. For the heroic kindness of those who provided us with scientific, social, and spiritual help when doing so was both risky and life-threatening for them, let us thank the Lord. Thanks be to God. For the gift of newly discovered medicines and vaccines to combat the virus and the wonder of natural immunity, let us thank the Lord. Thanks be to God. For the gift of assuring presence when we were anxious and distressed, depressed and lonely and impatient during the pandemic, let us thank the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us pray. Loving God, no thought of ours is unknown to you. No tear we shed is unimportant to you. No joy we celebrate is alien to you. You entered our world of sickness, suffering, and death, and you know the fears we face. Accept our thanksgiving for your provident love during the COVID pandemic. As you wept at the death of Lazarus, breathe the breath of life everlasting on all those who died from the coronavirus. You have turned our fears into joy, and for this we thank and praise you. To you be glory, now and forever. Mary, help of Christians, pray for us. Saint Michael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, in the Gospel reading today, Jesus is identified by Peter as the Christ. He is also the ark of our salvation through which we enter the door of faith. And so, to prepare ourselves to celebrate this Holy Mass, let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask the Lord 
for His pardon and mercy. Lord Jesus, you came to reconcile us to one another and to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you heal the wounds of sin and division. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you intercede for us with your Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who teach us that you abide in hearts that are just and true. Grant that we may be so fashioned by your grace as to become a dwelling pleasing to you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Genesis. God blessed Noah and his sons and said to them, Be fertile and multiply and fill the earth. Dread fear of you shall come upon all the animals of the earth and all the birds of the air upon all the creatures that move about on the ground and all the fishes of the sea. Into your power they are delivered. Every creature that is alive shall be yours to eat. I give them all to you as I did the green plants. Only flesh with its lifeblood is still in it, you shall not eat. For your own lifeblood, too, I will demand an accounting. From every animal, I will demand it. And from one man, in regard to his fellow man, I will demand an accounting for human life. If anyone sheds the blood of man, by man shall his blood be shed. For in the image of God has man been made. Be fertile then and multiply. Abound on earth and subdue it. God said to Noah and to his sons with him, See, I am now establishing my covenant with you and your descendants after you and with every living creature that was with you all the birds and the various tame and wild animals that were with you and came out of the ark. I will establish my covenant with you that never again shall all bodily creatures be destroyed by the waters of a flood. There shall not be another flood to devastate the earth. God added, this is the sign that I am giving for all ages to come of the covenant between me and you and every living creature with you. I set my bow in the clouds to serve as a sign of the covenant between me and the earth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. From heaven, the Lord looks down on the earth. From heaven, the Lord looks down on the earth. The nation shall revere your name, O Lord, and all the kings of the earth your glory. When the Lord has rebelled Zion and appeared in his glory, 
when he has regarded the prayer of the destitute and not despised their prayer. From heaven the Lord looks down on the earth. Let this be written for the generation to come, and let his future creatures praise the Lord. The Lord looked down from his holy height. From heaven he beheld the earth to hear the groaning of the prisoners, to release Dom doomed to die. From heaven the Lord looks down on the earth. The children of your servant shall abide, and their posterity shall continue in your presence, that the name of the Lord may be declared in Zion and his praise in Jerusalem. When the peoples gather together, and the kingdoms to serve the Lord. From heaven, the Lord looks down on the earth. Please stand. Lord, our spirit and life, you have the words of everlasting life. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus and his disciples set out for the villages of Caesarea Philippi. Along the way, he asked his disciples, who do people say that I am? They said in reply, John the Baptist, others Elijah, still others one of the prophets. And he asked them, But who do you say that I am? Peter said to him in reply, You are the Christ. Then he warned them not to tell anyone about him. He began to teach them that the Son of Man must suffer greatly and be rejected by the elders, the chief priests and the scribes, and be killed and rise after three days. He spoke this openly. Then Peter took him aside and began to rebuke him. At this he turned around and looking at his disciples, rebuked Peter and said, Get behind me, Satan. You are thinking not as God does, but as human beings do. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. It is a joy this morning to celebrate this Mass together with Father Albert, uh, with his uh, friends from Australia, as they have this pilgrimage not only here in our country but in the Holy Land. We thank you for joining us in this celebration this morning here in the Manila Cathedral, the Mother Church of the Philippines the first cathedral in the country. For the past days, we have been reflecting from our first reading the story of Noah and the ark. But even if this was written thousands of years before Christ came, 
we can already see Jesus in this story. Jesus Christ is already prefigured in the Ark of Noah. Bagaman libong taon na po ito na isulat bago pa man dumating si Jesus, makikita na natin si Jesus sa kwento na iyan. We can see that Noah entered the door of the ark in faith. God called him to build the ark. God called him and his family to enter the ark. But not many came to the ark. Only Noah and his family had faith in God, believed in God, and therefore entered the door of the ark. We also see Jesus there because we enter this faith through Jesus, the door of faith. Noah and his family were saved, protected from the flood. Jesus also protects us from the flood of sin, the flood of danger, the flood of death. We can already see Jesus in this story. And after the flood, when Noah went out of the ark, God made a covenant with them, a new covenant with man. That is also the work of Jesus. We are also led by Jesus into a new and eternal covenant with God. That is why we can already somehow see Jesus in Noah's ark. We enter the ark through the door of faith. We are saved by the ark from sin and death. And Noah's ark leads us to a new covenant. That is the work of Jesus, prefigured in the Old Testament. That is why Jesus is rightly called by Peter in our Gospel reading today as the Christ. He is not just Elijah. He is not just John the Baptist or any other prophets. He is the Christ. That is why the church fathers call Jesus the ark of our salvation. Makikita na natin si Jesus sa kwento ni Noe. Siya ang pintuan kung saan dumaan tayo papasok ng may pananampalataya sa Diyos. Siya rin ang nagligtas sa atin sa baha ng kasalanan at kamatayan. At siya rin naman ang nagdala sa atin sa bagong tipan, kapiling ng Diyos at ang tao. And lastly, Jesus also becomes the sign of God's love. When in the Old Testament today, Jesus tells them, I set my bow in the clouds, and whenever you see this sign, you will see my salvation. Whenever we see Jesus on the cross, that is the sign of God's salvation. And whenever we see Jesus, as Noah and his family saw the rainbow in the clouds, we are reminded, I have come not to destroy you, but to love you. My dear brothers and sisters, as we continue this celebration of the Eucharist, we will receive Jesus in his body and blood.
in that bread which will turn into his body. When we see Jesus, we will see the Christ, the ark of our salvation. Amen. Please stand. As we gather to celebrate the mystery of our salvation, let us turn to God the Father with confidence and implore His mercy. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Holy Father may keep the church in the faith of Peter. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That Christians may follow the footsteps of Christ by accepting their daily crosses in imitation of His suffering. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who find their crosses heavy and burdensome may find strength and consolation in Jesus. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the sick may see their illness a splinter of the cross of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That those who have gone before us in faith may see the Redeemer who suffered for them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Heavenly Father, Hear the prayers of your people and help us to embrace the daily challenge of the cross. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. May this oblation, O Lord, we pray, cleanse and renew us. And may it become for those who do your will the source of eternal reward. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in goodness you created man, and when he was justly condemned, in mercy you redeemed him through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation 
may our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. <clears throat> have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, 
Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Peace with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God, behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen.
Please stand. Let us pray. Having fed upon these heavenly delights, we pray, O Lord, that we may always long for that food by which we truly live. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Amen.